Hey guys, I'm Bez and welcome to your 12th Java Swing tutorial. Now in this video, I'll just be demonstrating you the basics of password field and also we'll just be building a pretty simple login application with dummy testing. So, you know, let's get started. So this is actually the form from the last video. Here I have a button and upon clicking that button, we open this second form, right? And now what we would do is We'll just put some condition over here that if the username and the password matches our criteria and only then upon this button click this form would open right so let's just do it first of all i'll just you know rename the text from second to like login and now we will just need some labels and fields first label would say username second level is going to say password okay now i just need to resize it properly that's it okay now i need a text field for my username and a password field for my password And that's it now if I just you know run this application so this is my dummy application over here now I can put anything in the username but when I type something in the password field you can see that all the characters are not visible isn't it and that's the functionality of password field it keeps everything hidden from the world so you know your application would be much more safer if you use a password field every time there is something related to a password so I always recommend you never to use a text field for any password purposes right so our design is complete let's just write the code now I need an action listener for login now this won't open until a condition is satisfied right so I'll just surround it within a if block and the condition of the if block would be wait what's the it's text field right and the variable name of the password field is password field okay so it would be text field you know how to get the text from a text field right using the get text method and to set it you have to use the set text so if the text of the text field is equal to or I should write dot equals that would be much more better if it's equal to admin and if the text of the password field dot now in this case you can use the method called get password you can't use the method get text previously like you know jdk 5 or 6 i think till then you could have used the get text method on password field as well but after that you just can't use it you know you have to use the get password method and then cast it to string and this is how you do it you write a new string and within that you have to pass all of this and if this equals my password say one two three four if this equals this then the second form would open and else that you know some intruder comes and tries to log in to your application then what would happen then simply you just display a message here or show message dialog right here null and the message would be what wrong username or password that looks good isn't it so let us just run our application so this is our application now let me put username as admin 
and for password let's just put something else like you know some dummy password and if I click login yeah it will display the message as wrong username or password so my verification first phase is successful now let me just enter one two three four as the password if I click login my second form opens so I'm successful right successful to login and that was the purpose of this simple video so I hope you got that I hope you now understand the usage of the password field as well so thank you guys for watching and in the next video I'll again be teaching you something really cool and I'll just see you guys in the next one